Hi, welcome again to my gardening channel. I am David Perling and today we're going to show you how to plant a bare root rose. This one here we're going to plant and um, we'll get started on that shortly. Some of the things we're going to need beside the rose are the rose, of course, some potting soil. We have three bags of the 25 quart. This brand of potting soil, we like this stuff a lot. It works very well for us. And uh, so we're going to use that again. You also want some pruners. I like this kind right here, these bypass pruners with a nice springy clip in them there. A pocket knife to open the bags of soil. And of course, gloves are thorny. So it's a good idea to wear gloves while you're doing something like this. And we'll call this a filter fabric. It's actually an old, an old cloth. We're going to drop that in the bottom of our container to act as a filter to keep the soil from washing out through the drainage holes on the bottom. So stay with us. We'll get started momentarily. This is the container that we're going to use to plant our rows in today. We purchased this at a big box store. Apparently it's made from old tires, which is a good way, I guess, to use that material. And um, it's plenty deep. Roses will like good drainage and good deep soil, so it's plenty deep for that. It also only, this only had, um, by the way, this container does have a little water reservoir built into the bottom. I don't think that's that important or that big of a deal, but this one has it. However, it only had one drainage hole in the bottom of the container that was plugged. Uh, I think it was this hole right here, this one right here. I removed the plug so, it, so of course it would drain, but I wanted to have more drainage, so I drilled five or six more holes, half inch holes around the, uh, the bottom there to give it better drainage. Drainage is very important. Roses, like many plants, but especially roses, do not tolerate having wet feet. Uh, the roots will suffer if the stove stays wet and soggy too long. Now this container should drain readily and our roses won't suffer from that. Here again is the, the cloth that we're going to use, the cloths we're going to use for the, the filters on the bottom of the container to keep the soil from you know, washing out when you water. We're going to layer two of those together. These are just uh, paint rags available at a nearby big box home center. We just got them off their counter and so it didn't cost anything. Just drop them into the container like so and then smooth them out a little bit and that's all you need. Our rose today is going to be one of the classics. It's the Chrysler Imperial. It's a hybrid tea. Think of that as the standard rose or your grandmother's rose. This is very popular. This rose was introduced in the early 1950s. It has a vivid red color and uh, it's one of the favorites. So we want to have a red rose. We have, we have another yellow rose growing in our garden now. So we'll have a nice yellow and red rose uh, flower arrangement to do uh, when they start the blooming. This rose has been graded by its grower as a grade A. Now you can see that on the upper corner of this label up here. Grade A is not really a recognized rose grading standard by rose people. They grade using numbers. A grade one rose will have three or more strong canes, a grade one and a half, perhaps two thin canes, and you don't want to get anything lower than a one and a half rose. Try to look for a grade one roses, but this is a grade A, this all this store had during this visit. So, and but I think it qualifies maybe as a grade, grade one. This rose appears to have one, two, three solid canes, maybe a fourth one. So I guess it qualifies as a grade one rose in my view, but it looks like overall healthy rose. You want to also check, check and make sure that your rose has, the, the canes are evenly spaced around, not all bunched out on one side or, or the other side. And this rose, most rose more or less does that too. So we'll start planting this right now. Okay, we're going to start adding soil to our container. We have three bags of these 24 quart size of this uh, potting mix. We like this stuff a lot. Just start adding one bag. I think three will do it. We're going to find out pretty quick though, aren't we? It bunched up a little bit as it was pouring out. We'll just tear open the opening a little more and let the rest fall out. There we go. Oh yeah. That filled it up over halfway, just that first bag. So we're gonna do some tamping down now. I'm gonna pack that down a little bit so that it doesn't settle more than it has to. I like to go, I like to press my fingers really well around the, um, 
the outside edges of the container, so press it down real good that way. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep pressing, pressing, pressing. It's, it's firmed down pretty good now. And let's go ahead and do a second bag. Start a second bag anyway. You gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. And we're doing that right now. More soil, more soil, more soil. There we go. Pretty good so far. There's a big lump of soil right here. It's gonna break it up by hand. Good. Pack it down around the edges again, around the edge of the container. Press, 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 press. Okay. Okay. Okay, we do have enough soil in our container now, as you can see. I'm gonna drop the rose in, in this container right in here. You can see it's uh, that, that soil in the container is um, is uh, plenty high in the container. I'm gonna have to dig a little hole to plant the rose in, and we'll do that now. First, of course, you gotta get the rose out of the um, out of the pot, this plastic pot. You know, some roses come in bare root bag, uh, bare roses come in plastic bags. This one happens to come in a plastic pot, and you just gotta get rid of that uh, that cover, of course. Here we go. The cover is now gone. I'm gonna put my gloves on now to keep myself from getting cut up too much by the thorns. The material that this rose is growing in inside this grower pot is not gonna be suitable to grow the rose in. I believe it's gonna be too, too high in carbon, which will require, a, uh, it must be a poor soil. So we wanna get rid of that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take the rose, I'm gonna just empty the container out of my potting bench here. And um, again, I'm not certain that this is bad soil, but I'm not going to chance it. I don't know what's there exactly. I'm just going to get that now. Here's what we have. Looks like we have a pretty nice root system here. Pretty nice root system. The roots are, roots are pretty evenly spaced around. There's one little outlier right here. I think I'll prune that one off a little. But overall, the roots look, they look pretty healthy. Prune that one off. This one's broken. Let's get rid of that one. And um, it looks like we're in pretty good shape root-wise now, okay? Can you see that okay? There she is. There you see the top canes and the roots. We're going to plant that in our container. Now, we, now when we plant this, it's going to be very important to plant at the same level it was in the container so that the soil remains at the same level it was when it came out. So it's right where my finger is right there. You can see the soil line in the uh, on the stem right now so let's add a little bit more soil again that soil that came out of that pot might be okay but i don't want to chance it we'll just throw that soil in our garden bed nearby here and get and recycle it that way so our soil now is about four inches from the top of the container pack it down again okay take our rows and uh, let's place it in. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, 
And of course we want to center it as well as we can. It's going to need a little bit more soil from that third bag to top off the pot here. We're down maybe two to three inches below the top of the top rim of the container now, which is too much, too much space. We'll add some more soil to fill it up a little bit, and then we'll be done. there. Pat, 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 tamp, 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 especially around the edges of the container. And just a little bit more soil. Just one more little smidge and we'll be done. Okay, there is our potted Chrysler Imperial beautiful red hybrid tea rose and um, we are in uh, located in the San Diego area in Chula Vista, California, a suburb. And one of the many nice things about living here is that we can bare feet in short, we can uh, garden in bare feet and shorts in late January and that's why we live here. We moved here from the Chicago area. Oh, about 15 years ago, and uh, we've been happy as clams ever since because I, I love to garden and I can garden year round here. So, here is our new potted rose in its, in its new home in a container on our front patio. Right behind it is our five variety uh, cocktail cherry tree. Next to it is our yellow floribunda rose. That's, of course, in its winter dormancy period right now, and our new Chrysler Imperial rose. Uh, flanked on either side, we have um, we have some Asclepias, some uh, uh, butterfly weed, Asclepias tuberosa, which of course attracts the monarchs who lay their eggs and the, and the larvae eat, the, um, eat the leaves and turn into, turn into chrysalis and then we get adult monarchs from that. I have a video about that here. If you check that out, you can see that. I have a time lapse of a, of a monarch emerging. So here it is, here it is. Um, it's got, it, we watered it. It'll eventually, when we warm up a little bit, I will add our, some of our drippers to this and so to get automatically water with our drip system and uh, we don't need that for a few weeks at least. Another thing about when you plant anything bare root is this. Make sure that you don't plant it too deep. This, the green part was above ground before, we want to keep it that way. The bud union is right here. You never want to plant that, you never want, you never want to plant the bud union in the ground. That'll pretty much destroy the plant but for right now we're looking good and we'll wait for the warmer weather to come. Watch it grow, we'll watch it bloom and we'll show you photos that, that goes along. This is a still shot of our yellow 
Floribunda rose that was planted in a container last spring. It's in its winter dormancy right now, but it'll spring back to life uh, in a few short weeks when we warm up out here. Thank you again for having a look. Uh, my name is David Perling. This is my gardening channel. Uh, please look at some of the others. We have a video about planting our five variety cocktail cherry tree from last year, about a year ago. We have several updates after that. And we have several video, some videos about our various container garden projects. And uh, you might find that to be interesting. We also have a complete video about how to care for your lawn, how to fertilize your lawn. That's on my channel as well. So please have a look. Uh, please like, please subscribe. And any comments you have or questions, please put them in the comment section, and we will get back to you just as soon as we can. Thank you very much again. Dave Perling, thanks for watching. Have a great spring.